Hi, this is a question specifically listed in the AP framework, and it is, what's the volume of space needed to reach equilibrium? Um, so I set up a, a scenario here and want to walk you through it. We are going to begin with 10 mils of a 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. Um, this is a neutralization reaction, by the way. I chose a strong acid and a strong base. Um, so really, we're going to have an Erlenmeyer flask and we're going to deliver, we're going to measure out with a, um, a pipette 10 mils of this 0.1 mole molar HCl. Now, in my burette, I have 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide. Um, so remember on uh, my titration curve, the y-axis is pH and the x-axis is going to be volume of the titrant. This is my titrant down here, the acetic, um, or excuse me, the hydrochloric acid is the analyte. And the question is, well, how much do I need to add of that sodium hydroxide to reach that equivalence point? Now, a little review on the equivalence point. Remember, at the equivalence point, so special, the moles of the hydrogen equals the moles of the hydroxide, uh, which means it's the mole of the acid, um, in that case, it's our analyte, equals the moles of the base. Um, so in this really, really neat, moles and moles equal each other, well, look at this. If I have molarity and volume of hydrochloric acid, I can find the moles. And at equilibrium, the moles of the acid are the same as the moles of the base. It gives us a crucial special piece of information. Um, and once I know the moles of the base, because I have molarity, easy, we can find volume. So let's walk this out. Again, knowing it's equilibrium, because I can find moles right here, I know the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base. Actually, I have two pieces of information. Let's do that. If we have 0.10 um, mole per liter of HCl, and we have got 10 mils, I'm just going to divide 10 by 1,000, that's 0.01 liters. That will give us liters canceling, woohoo! and 0 0.001 moles of HCl. So that's how many moles of HCl I have in here. Now when I add exactly the same amount of moles of sodium hydroxide, woo, that is the equilibrium. That's our um, special pH when moles of hydrogen equal moles of hydroxide. So yeah, I found the moles of HCl, but by definition at equivalence point, that also equals the moles of the base of the NaOH, awesome. Now be careful, this is a one-to-one -one molar ratio when you do the reaction. If we had like a one-to-two, um, maybe we were doing like a calcium hydroxide, um, then you would have to be careful that you would, for um, every one calcium hydroxide, you'd have two of the hydrochloric acids react. Um, so you would have half the sodium or the calcium hydroxide right here. So just be careful on that if it's not a one-to-one. -one. You can simply do stoichiometry to find out um, the mole ratio. Okay, most 99% um, of what you'll be given though will be a one-to-one -one mole, mole ratio. Um, okay, so we found the moles of the sodium hydroxide. Remember the drive on this is to find mills. I want to find volume. Uh, well, let's take those moles, beautiful moles that we found, 0 0.001 moles of that sodium hydroxide. It's really the moles of the hydroxide um, that we're interested in since that's reacting. The sodium would be a spectator ion. Um, and now I can take the molarity, 0 0.05 moles per every one liter. Now I want this in mils, they asked for mils, so one liter has a thousand mils. When we do that math, 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.05 times a thousand, 20 mils. So that tells me right here at this point, we will deliver 20 mils. There will be 20 mils that we add to that, kind of cool. Now, this could go in reverse. You could know the volume that you deliver. Um, maybe you had an indicator in here. It changes color. You stop. You take the volume of um, the base times the molarity. That will give you moles. The moles here equal the moles down here. And then you just take the moles of the acid, because it has to be the same as the moles of the base, right? When we're at equilibrium, simply divide it by the volume, and you just found concentration. The key on this is right here is that the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base. The moles of the hydrogen, very technically, equal the moles of the hydroxide. That's what you're focusing on, right there. Okay.
Nice. So there you have that. Another problem for you with titrations. Good work. If you need more help, look at the acid-base equilibrium. Thank you and have a great day.